Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of a new career here in IL2 Sturmovic 1946. Today we will be flying for the Imperial Japanese Navy as pilot Izumi Wakai Senchei Fushida. Since we are flying for the Japanese, I saw it only fitting that we would be basing ourselves out of a carrier for this career, since that is a very unique aspect of Japanese aerial operations, unlike that of the European theater in which there is very little, if at all, in that department. So, without further ado, let's see what we've got going on here. So, it's going to be a little different than what I've been doing, as we will not be starting this career with a dynamic campaign. Instead, I will be using select missions from a static campaign created by D. Humphrey called the Akagi. So as you can see, I have the 8th mission of this static campaign selected, and uh, this is the first mission with a A5-M4 that I could get working with back here, because I tried loading the first mission, and it bugged, bugged out to all hell. So the next mission that actually has a fighter as the player aircraft is the 8th mission, so is what it is, but... In this mission, we will be flying an A5M4 in the Chinese theater, and we'll be flying it off of the Akagi. So I thought this would be a good introduction to Japanese naval air operations, instead of just plunging us straight into Pearl Harbor. But don't worry, we're not going to be spending too long in China here, as I think there's only two more missions. Yeah, there's two more missions before... Yeah, there's two more missions with the A5M4 before we actually get to Pearl Harbor, and I'll be doing something else for that. If we make it that far. I, we better make it that far, because I want to I wanna actually have a good amount of Japanese air combat here for this career, so be sure to be careful, but not too cautious, you know? Be part of the fight, but not get lost in the fight, if you know what I mean. So, without further ado, let's check out the briefing for this mission. So, it looks like D. Humphrey here used a Vietnam map to portray a coastal China region from which we can have carrier operations, which is fine. So, the thing I like about some of these static campaigns is that they give a nice historical background to what's going on and what they're trying to portray in these missions. And so this, since this isn't the first mission of the campaign, it does imply that this is continuing something that has already started. But that doesn't detract from the information it provides here. So, let's, uh, let's read into it. The Akagi continued her flight operations against the Chinese. This is beginning of 1939 or so. Both the Akagi and the Kaga were assigned the mission to strike the Chinese airfield at Ningming. Okay, so this actually, even though this is the a Vietnam map, as you can see, Hanoi and whatnot, it does have a slight bit of China here, which includes Ning Ningming, which is the historical target that this mission is trying to replicate. This was the first deep penetration mission for the Akagi Air Group. Their earlier success gave the group the confidence needed to complete this mission. The Akagi and Kaga Air Groups launched a maximum effort with... Wait, whoa. Kagi and Kaga Air Groups launched with maximum... Okay. I don't know the grammar going on there, but it's all good. The Akagi's A5M4 fighters supported both strike groups. At Ningming, the airfield was severely damaged, numerous buildings and hangars were destroyed, as well as almost all the grounded aircraft. Okay, so that's what we're going to be trying to replicate here, what happened historically. The airfield was well protected, however, by anti-aircraft artillery, at least eight of these strike aircraft received some sort of damage, ranging from minor aircraft skin damage to severe control surface damage. Okay, so there's going to be some AA here, don't want to get shot down by that. 
The Japanese pilots were better trained and experienced. The Akagi's fighters were able to destroy four Chinese I-153 fighters on this mission. Okay, so we're going to be facing some Chinese biplanes, Russian-made biplanes. Be nice. So yes, we will be flying the A5M4 Claude Fighter, the predecessor to the A6M0 that we all know. So yeah, let's take a look at the aircraft. This is the A5M4. It is the... I believe it is the first carrier aircraft that Japan actually uh, mass-produced. Could be wrong, there might have been something before this. Like the very first carrier, like the Kage or something. But this plane is going to harken, harken back to aerial tactics I would use as an I-16 pilot. Good old I-16. This is a turn fighter, it's not super fast. It only has two machine guns. This is going to be very... A very... Uh, turn-based combat kind of aircraft. We're going to want to be forcing the enemy to turn a lot. The problem is we're also going to be playing against, or flying against turn-based aircraft, so it's really just going to be a very action-packed dogfight. A lot of turning and maneuvering, especially since the armament is so weak, we're going to have to get more than just a couple shots on the aircraft to take it out, unless we pilot snipe. So we could have some pretty interesting aerial combat here. Curious to see how that's going to play out. But uh, yeah. That being said, let's begin our uh, first carrier takeoff. Alright, so we are on the deck of the Akagi here. Let's get our engine nice and started here. As you can see, you get this interesting looking gun sight thing here. Control D actually opens up the gun sight. You can look through it. Definitely not a fan of this gun sight. It's gonna cause me more trouble than I like, but it is what it is. As you can see, the lead aircraft has a different paint scheme than we do. I'm not entirely sure if that's intentional. But if it is, I, it makes sense. You want to, I guess, making the lead aircraft uh, distinguishable would make it easier to see where you need to go or who you need to cover in a dogfight. But it also makes it easier for the enemy to know who your commander is. As you can see, we've got... Uh, some swordfish posing as B4Y bombers here. Also, we got the Akagi here and the Kaga here. I know the base IL-2 game does not actually have a Kaga model, but in the Bat mod and some other mods, there is an actual Kaga aircraft carrier model, which is nice. Let's get those takeoff flaps ready. Is canopy open? There is no canopy. This is an open air canopy. Okay, it's, it's fine. Alright, let's get through these takeoffs. Oy. Yes, it's taking a bit. All right, it's finally our turn. Let's get the engine ramped up. And let's do this. 
Whoa, okay. Let's not botch the first takeoff here. Alright, the takeoff wasn't too bad, but the takeoff is always the easiest part of the journey. The landing is where the pain is at. Yeah, first successful carrier takeoff there. Now that that's done with, I will uh, catch you guys at first contact. Alright, welcome back. I haven't exactly made any contact with enemy air forces, but uh, our friendly bombers have been laying waste to the airfield down below, as you can see by all the fire and smoke. Definitely wreaking havoc on the Chinese airfield. Right now we're essentially just flying a combat air patrol over the airfield as we cover our bombers. But, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys if anything special happens, which I'm, I hope it does. I hope we get to see some enemies here. And uh, yeah, see you then. Alright everyone, welcome back. Sadly, we did not make any contact with the enemy in this mission, which I'm a little disappointed in as I knew there were some enemies in this mission. Sometimes that's how it goes, I guess. As a result, uh, I will make this a two-mission episode. I'll have to do that. Alright. Now, where is the carrier? It's over there. Okay. I lie, this might be kind of difficult because the gun sight is bright for the new Okay, I'm way too high. Oh! Well, that was a bit too hard of a landing. I always under I always overestimate how fast I'm uh, I can uh, go here. Yeah, I underestimate just how slow you need to go to avoid uh, having problems on a carrier landing. But we didn't die. It's all good. Maybe uh we'll, maybe we'll land better this second mission. Alright, let's end that. Alright, so we've got the second mission here with the A5M4, and this time we will be striking west of Longzhou. Zhao, Longzhou, I'm not sure how I'm to pronounce this. Let's, here we go. The Akagi continued her flight operations against the Chinese. On this date, the carriers Akagi and Kaga once again completed another deep penetration mission, this time against the Chinese airfield located near Longzhou. Longzhou was a large airfield supported, supporting heavy bombers as well as the Chinese Air Force HQ for this area. The Akagi and Kaga air groups launched another maximum effort. A5M4 fighters supported both strike groups. They ended up badly damaging the airfield. AA was kind of bad, and there were I-16s, so I hope we actually fight the enemy this time. And with that, let's, let's take off our bad boy once again. I gotta wait for all these guys to take off. I 
Alright, it is finally our turn to take off. Crank that bad boy up. And let us release the chocks. Oh, nice. I call that another successful takeoff. Gotta have a successful landing now this time, that's for sure. Uh, Alright. That, I'll see you once we reach the target area. Alright, welcome back. We are once again patrolling over the enemy airfield as our bombers lay waste to all that is down there. Lots of targets down there for our bombers. Yeah, no sign of enemy aircraft yet. I know they're out there. But when will they show up? Now that is the question. Well, for now, all we can do is patrol over here and wait to see what happens. Alright. Welcome back. We supposedly have enemy contacts. Autopilot had me doing all sorts of whack stuff. Not sure where the enemy is. They called out fighters 3 o'clock, but then we started doing some crazy maneuvers. seeing anything right now. Not sure where we're going either. It's uh, a little weird. So don't know where we're climbing to because they're definitely not a I was about to say, they're probably closer to the airfield over there. I'm just following my boys. See where they take me. The bombers are definitely getting shot at right now. Oh, there we go. Got some contacts finally. Kinda low right now. Well, at least we have the advantage. Alright, I see at least two bogeys down there. Get ready for this. 
Oh man, he's got like no airspeed. Oh, we got like four. All four of us are going down. Whoa. Who got hit? Oh gosh, this plane does not like going fast. Hey, that's not great. Oh, uh, is that one of our guys? Either? Uh, no, thank you. Tag. His friend's coming though. We gotta be, make this quick. Uh, oh no, he pulled off. Where'd he go? Oh, I got him. Okay. Must the pilot sniped him. Look at that, our first kill is a Japanese fighter pilot. It was our good old I 16 that treated us so well. Alright, now we got this other guy here who has an advantage on me. It's like I'm faster than him though. Alright, he's in the clouds. I can't see him right now. Oh, there he is. We're getting close, but we're in the clouds right now, so this is not optimal. There he is. Okay, starting to maneuver. Definitely follow him in this. Let him up. Definitely have enough speed to do a 360. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. Unless he's dead. Oh, he's missing an elevator. Another 360. Wait, what? <laughs> Man's trying to land right now? What the he? Medica, 
Is man actually about to land right now? What's going on over here? Hey. Whoa. Oh. Looks like that didn't go too well for him there. Just about, okay, he just about crash landed. Okay, I'll run away, run away, run away. Run away. Don't want to deal with that. No, thank you. Alright, now, where the question is, where are our friends now? Do some climbing for a bit. Yeah. Here's somebody. Okay. Must be my imagination. See you guys when I figure out where everybody else is. Ooh. Hey, welcome back. I uh, just was climbing for a bit, following the waypoint path, and lo and behold, we just ran into the other two fighters. I'm surprised no, no one else has been able to shoot down an I-16 yet. But it looks like I got oh, about a third of my ammo left. Probably not enough ammo to take out two of these guys. So what kind of evasive maneuvers they try to pull here. on him. That's about it. These guys are cooking here. They're going pretty fast. Oh! He's still stalling. Not sure what's going on there. But it's not looking good for him. Over here, this is going to take a bit to catch up to this guy. I'm fighting the enemy, bro. Oh boy. Oh! Sheared his butt off. Didn't think I was going to be able to do that with the machine guns.
Now, not sure where the other guy went. Oh. I don't know if those are ours or theirs. Okay, it looks like there's still that other guy around. I need to be pushing hard. Alright, welcome back. We're gonna be beginning our landing approach. Getting everything in order. Looks like all the ships have stopped moving because we kind of were in the air so long that the ships <laughs> reached their waypoints. It's like, yeah, two hours of flight time here in this mission. It's a long time to be in the air and to think we still have almost half of our fuel remaining. Focus here. Dang it! Keep hitting it too hard. I bounce up in the air. Uh, I made it though, we made it. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, well. I think we, uh, we bagged a couple kills there. Got to meet our old friend, the I-16. And, uh, yeah. Still haven't had a truly successful carrier landing yet, but we're getting there. We'll get there. And with that, the next mission will be Pearl Harbor, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.